anti-AI people assume human creativity leaves fingerprints. That's comforting and completely false. A University of Michigan professor just published what everyone coding with AI already knows. Detection is an arms race where the detector is lost before they even start it. Here's how AI detection actually works. You train a model on examples of human and AI writing, then hope new AI text looks similar enough to your training data. Problem is your training data is outdated the moment a new model drops. The statistical approach is even funnier. It checks if the text has unusually high probability according to a specific AI model. Great until the model updates or someone uses a different model or literally just edits the output. Watermarking it requires AI vendors to cooperate and users to not disable it, so basically useless. Detection tools have to be public to be useful, which means everyone knows exactly how to beat them. One guy on Twitter showed how to defeat every commercial detector with basic prompt tweaks. The professor's conclusion is basically saying that detection tools are a part of an escalating arms race and detectors are unlikely to gain a lasting upper hand. So if you're relying on an AI detection to catch developers using Claude code, you've already lost. People desperately want AI detection to work because the alternative is admitting we have no idea who wrote what anymore. Professors can't tell if students use AI, managers can't tell if developers use AI, hell, AI can't even reliably detect AI. The only people who can spot AI-generated code are developers who use AI themselves because they recognize the patterns, the lazy shortcuts, the telltale Claudisms, which means the future isn't better detection. It's accepting that the code works or it doesn't. And honestly, that's how it should have been all along.